y'all. I know I look like complete crap, so please excuse the way I look right now. Um, we're going on vacation today, so once I get off work, we're leaving to go to the beach. And I just went on a walk on my lunch break, so I'm like hot and sweaty. I have no makeup on, so sorry, excuse me, ahead of time for the way I look. But anyways, I wanted to get up here real quick and do my 27-week pregnancy update before we leave to go out of town. So I figured I'd get up here real quick um, and do this. Not much has changed um, since last week, but a, f a few things have changed. A couple things have changed. Um, not yesterday, but the day before that. And the day before that, I got sick and threw up, like really bad, like violent throw up. And I wasn't sure at first. I was like, oh gosh, I hope this is not the nausea coming back, you know, for the third trimester. But thankfully, I realized that the two days that I threw, got really sick were the two days that I had taken my prenatal vitamin. And apparently, I had not eaten enough on my stomach because sometimes I'll just take the folic acid um, pill instead of my prenatal. And I'm remembering now that the reason I started doing that is because it was making me sick. So... I definitely want to get my vitamins in um, from here on out for the rest of the pregnancy. So I am going to do some research and try to find um, some prenatals that are less harsh on the stomach. So if y'all have any recommendations, please let me know. I might, I figured I might try like the um, gummies or, you know, just see what, what's out there that is not as harsh on your stomach. Because these are the, um, I think these are the, what is the brand? Uh, um... I forget, but it's one of the most common ones in Walmart. But anyways, all right, so for my symptoms, um, let's see. Um, I had had no leg cramps for a good, like, three, four days, which is awesome. Last night, I woke up at um, 3 in the morning to pee, and then I could not go back to sleep until 5.30. I was just really uncomfortable. My legs were bothering me. Um... And my feet, you know, I just was not comfortable. Sometimes I just cannot get comfortable. Um, but it's just part of, you know, part of the pregnancy. I'm at that stage um, in the game. I know, I think I had, I've watched a few other pregnancy updates where they said that next week is going to be my, I'm going to be entering the third trimester. So it's hard to believe it's going by so fast. Um, it's flying by. The second trimester just completely flew by. So enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs> I'm kind of sad to see it go, but then again, I'm also excited because, you know, that means I'm closer to meeting baby girl and getting to see what she looks like and, you know, all that good stuff. So, um, I had promised Ari, um, that we would remodel her room before the baby came, which we did. Um, Joseph put her bed together this past weekend, which was awesome of him. He put her together her bed. We already did her wall, <coughs> excuse me, painted her wall. So now she has like basically a brand new room. So now we can move on to the baby's room and start that. So I'm really excited about doing that. I'm not sure what kind of theme I want to do yet, um, but her walls are the same color as mine, which we had painted when we first moved in. It's like a dark purple, like kind of like a dark purplish gray. Um, so it's kind of hard. I'm thinking the only color that I can think of right now that, you know, definitely will not clash with that color is white. So, I'm definitely thinking about a lot of white, and, um, but anyways, I went on a walk today on my lunch break, and I'm so glad I did that yesterday as well. Yesterday, I went by myself today. I took Paris with me, and I think I'm going to start taking her with me every day so that we can both get some good exercise, um, because it's good for both of us, and, um, I just feel so much better since I got out and got some sunshine and got some fresh air. You know, working from home, sometimes you just get cooped up, like being in the house all the time, and it just gets kind of depressing. So I needed that vitamin D, and I got it, and I feel so much better. Um, I've been drinking more water, trying to up my intake. I'm still not where I want to be with my water intake, but I'm getting there. Um, when I did the up, when I looked at some other updates, they said that the baby has developed her own sleeping pattern, which is pretty cool. To think about so like the times that she's really active you know are the times that she's up and then the time that she that I don't feel her move is apparently when she's asleep which makes sense you know it's pretty common common sense but I never really thought about it so it's just kind of cool to you know think like right now she's not moving so she's in there sleeping um 
She's very active though. Like at certain times and throughout the day, she's very active. Um, and she's getting so much bigger, you know, I'm able to feel her like so much better. It's really cool. Um, let's see, we're still trying to decide if we want to keep our queen bed or to get a king. I'm like so on the fence about it because we already have um, a queen and if we get a king, you know, we're going to have to sell our king. We have two queens actually. We're going to have to sell both of those or get rid of both of those and buy a whole new, you know, mattress and headboard. Um, so I'm trying to decide what to do with that, but I know, I think we need, we're going to need the extra room. Um, oh, my eye is like twitching. For some reason it's been doing this off and on today. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. It's, see? It's so crazy. What the hell? Like what causes that? It's so weird. It just starts twitching out of nowhere. <laughs> I feel like a freak. But anyways, um, it's time for me to start my registry. It's like twitching so bad. It's crazy. But um, I'm just trying to get done with this really quick. So my mom and my sister are throwing us a baby shower, which I'm super excited about. It's going to be September 30th. Um, which is a weekend after I will have completed my exam. Um, and so I've got to decide on the places that I want to register. Um, so I'm thinking maybe like Amazon and Target possibly. Um, I'm not sure. Like I did, you know, some research on some other moms that recommended that a lot of them recommended Amazon and I just love Target. So I was thinking I'll do those too. Um, and I'm getting together a list, started the list to get together of who to invite for the shower. Um, so that should be fun. I'm really excited about that. We still haven't decided on a name yet. I'm back, or I keep going back and forth. Um, we're really liking, I really loved Alasia, but it's not Joseph's favorite. He likes it. And, you know, he's, of course, he's supportive of whatever I want to name her. But I want, I want him to really like it too, you know, so... And plus, um, I babysat a little girl named Alicia a long time ago, back when I lived in Atlanta. And um, so I kind of want, like, something new. I always loved the name, though, but I, I kind of want something new, you know, that's fresh for both of us. So we're thinking either Alana or um, Annika and probably Nevaeh for the middle name. So we haven't decided yet, but right now those two are, like, in the top runner, you know, top place. Um, Ari loves the name Brooklyn, which I like too, but I'm not sure if we're going to use that one or if we're just going to use um, one of the others or if we come across another one that we like even better, you know, then we'll do that. But um, right now we have a little more time, so I'm not too stressed out about it. Um, I finally told my work that I'm pregnant, which I know... <laughs> It's kind of far along, but I was just like really procrastinating and really nervous about it, but I, I got that out of the way. I told them. I um, officially announced it on social media, so that's good. I feel like everything's like out in the open. And um, yeah, we're going to the beach tonight. Ari's already down there with my mom, so we're going down there tonight. I've got to pack and I've got to do laundry and all this kind of stuff, and I work till 4 30, so. Um, yeah, I'm going to be busy today, but I'm really excited to go down to the beach and just have a break and be able to enjoy the sun and the, the hear the waves and the fresh air and the sand. I just, I haven't been to the beach since last year, so I'm really excited. But um, anyways, and for a little break of relaxation, then when we get back um, in a few weeks, we're going to the mountains for a few days. Um, so that should be fun too. So I'm going to show you all my stomach. This is my stomach. But yeah, so I hope y'all are doing good. I hope y'all have a good day and a good rest of the week.